Hey angels, so today I'm back with some tips and tricks on social anxiety that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so let's just get into this video. The first tip is don't blame yourself. Social anxiety is not your fault. It's a mental illness and just like any other physical illness, it needs care, treat it, patience, and understanding. So don't blame yourself for having social anxiety. Don't blame yourself for having a mental illness. It's not your fault. Number two, if there is an event or a crowded place that you want to go to, like a wedding, um, a family event, like any crowded event, and you're having a very, very hard time doing that, like your anxiety is so high and you can barely function, like the only thing you can think of is this event and what you're going to do, where you're going to sit, how well you're going to be able to socialize, who's going to be there, how crowded it's going to be, like how uncomfortable you're going to be. If that's all you can think of and you can barely function at this point, don't go. That's the best thing for you to do is just don't go you can explain like you know to somebody who is looking for you to come somebody you care about if you want to explain to them that it's just your anxiety is so high and you can't make it then do that but the best thing is for you to just don't go don't be so hard on yourself don't go take care of you so number four is when you're going someplace keep things around you that makes you feel safe and comfortable and that may be a safety net for your anxiety for me it's my sunglasses it's my hat my cell phone I always keep these things around me. They just make me feel safe sometimes when I can just wear my sunglasses to a big event or maybe my hat or just have my cell phone. These are your things that's going to help you, make you feel safe, make your anxiety better. So number five is do not waste your time spending time with people who make you feel bad because of your anxiety. If there are people in your life that you have tried your best to explain your anxiety to and all they do is make you feel bad because of your social anxiety um, don't spend your time around those people because they're only going to bring you down and make you feel worse than you already feel about your anxiety and you don't need that you need people who's going to be there for you understand or try to understand and who will be there to have your back and comfort you You deserve only the special good people who will help you be there for you and have your back. Well, number six is never ever ever get into a relationship with someone who who doesn't want to learn about your social anxiety. Who doesn't want to comfort you and be there for you and have your back 100% who doesn't want to learn about mental health, period. 
if this person doesn't want to hear about your mental health problems, who don't want to understand and learn what you will need in this relationship, then please do not get in a relationship with this type of person. You only need to be in a relationship with someone who understands and not so much understand, but who will respect you and respect that you have social anxiety and who will be willing to learn more about your social anxiety and your needs because the worst thing you can do is be with a person who won't hold your hand through rough tough times won't hug you during a hard day and just won't love and console you during the hard times when your anxiety is really high or when you're having social anxiety period so please do not get in that type of relationship you only deserve love caring respect and someone who's willing to learn Number seven is find things to make you laugh. You know, anything that's going to help you and make you laugh is going to help you get your mind off of your anxiety, off of your social anxiety, your problems and issues. So it's always good to be able to know what makes you laugh and do those things anything that makes you laugh do it often <laughs> so angels the last thing is going to be lift yourself up this is very important when you're dealing with any type of mental illness social anxiety borderline personality disorder bipolar schizophrenia um whatever autism um whatever any type of mental illness that you are suffering from you need to be able to lift yourself up because that's very very important you need to tell yourself how special you are how strong you are for coping with something so hard on a day-to-day -day basis. Let yourself know that you deserve nothing. Nothing but the best. The very, very best. So always, always uplift yourself no matter what. I'm so strong for dealing with social anxiety. I'm wonderful, I'm special, and I deserve the very, very best. <laughs>